Welcome to your screencast for lesson 7.2. Our essential question today is how can you write a fraction as a sum of fractions with the same denominators? So we are going to be adding fractions with the same denominator. So essentially we are going to be adding the numerators. Today we're going to take a look at the total number of add-ins and add-ins is actually the number that we are going to be adding. So that's going to be our numerator. That's the number that we're adding. Unlock the problem. We have Emilio cut a sandwich into eight equal pieces and eight one piece. He has seven eighths, seven eighths of the sandwich left. Emilio put each remaining piece on a snack plate. How many snack plates did he use? What part of the sandwich did he put on each plate? So each piece of the sandwich is one eighth of the whole, because we know the whole fraction is the denominator, which is eight parts. So eight out of eight, which would be the total, would be equal to one. One eighth is called a unit fraction, because it tells the part of the whole that one piece represents. So a unit fraction always has a numerator of one. So if we divided the sandwich, into eight pieces. Over here in our picture, the sandwich has been divided into eight pieces. He has already eaten one piece. Each part of this sandwich is one eighth. Okay? Example one, it says write seven eighths as a sum of unit fractions. So basically, all we're going to do is break this seven eighths up into the different parts. So we know that seven eighths equals one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth, plus one eighth, plus one eighth, plus one eighth. So we have added one eighth seven times to get seven eighths, okay? The number of add-ins represents the number of plates used. The unit fractions represent the part of the sandwich on each plate. So on each plate, there's going to be one eighth of the sandwich. So Amelia used eight or seven plates, I'm sorry, seven plates because we have seven parts left and he put one eighth of a sandwich on each plate because he ate this part so one eighth is already gone okay down below it says what if Emilio ate three pieces of the sandwich instead of one piece how many snack plates would he need what part of the sandwich would be on each plate explain okay we would still have one eighth of the sandwich on each plate but in this case, he would only need five plates because there's three pieces out of the eight that are gone. So he's eaten this, he's eaten this, and he's eaten this. So that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five parts left. So he would need, he would need five plates, but each, sandwich, each piece is still going to be one eighth. Okay, so there's going to be each plate would still have one eighth one eighth of the sandwich. Okay, we just know that there would be five eighths, sorry, five eighths as our total because we have five pieces. So we would do one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth, one eighth. We're adding five add-ins of one to make five eighths, okay? Go ahead and turn to the next page. On this one, they've given us a pizza. And our pizza says, write a fraction as a sum. Kevin and Isabel are going to share a whole pizza. The cut pizza is cut into six equal slices. They will put the slices on two separate dishes. What part of the whole pizza could be on each dish? Shade the models to show three different ways Kevin and Isabel could share the pizza. Pizza. Write an equation for each model. Okay? So essentially, one way that they could share the pizza is one of them could have one, two, three, four, five pieces. So we're going to shade in all five pieces. And the other one could have one piece. So this represents five, six, and this represents one, six. So if we add it, our total is going to equal six, six, which is that's the entire pizza. 
Okay, another way they could share would be for one of them to take four six. So four pieces, one, two, three, four pieces, so four six. And the other one to take two six, so two out of the six pieces. Okay, and then our total, if we add our end ends, four plus two would be six. We already know it's divided into six parts. That's our denominator. And then lastly, they could split it. They could each take half. So half would be three pieces. They could each take three. So three out of six and three out of six. If we add three and three, we get six. It's our entire pizza, pizza so it's six out of six. And up here, it does show you that six pieces out of six pieces equals the whole because this is broken into six parts, okay? What if three friends share the pizza and they put the pizza slices on three separate dishes? What part of the pizza could be on each dish? Write equations to support your answer. Okay, we just wanna make sure that these numerators, our denominator is gonna remain the same. We just wanna make sure that the numerators are going to add up to six so they take up the entire pizza. So we could do four plus one and one, that would be six out of six. Okay, so we could have one person has four pieces, another has one, and the last has one. We could also do two pieces plus three pieces plus one piece, and this would also be six out of six, so one person has two, one person has three, and one person has one. Okay, what's a way that we could um, divide the pizza up equally? They could each take two pieces, so we'd have two six plus two six plus two six, and that would be our total pizza of six out of six. Okay, so you are going to keep your denominator the same. Your denominator is going to remain the same at this point while we're adding. You are adding the number that is on the top, which is the numerator, okay? When you have added those two, depending on the problem given, you will get a total. So I'm gonna have you move over here to the share and show. You're going to work on number one, two, and three.